Welcome to Intergeo TV studio here in Frankfurt at Intergeo 2018. And welcome also Anil Nanduri. We met the last years. It's nice to have you again here, Vice President of Intel and General Manager of the Drone Group. Thank you very much. It's great to be back again. You had a great day yesterday, the opening day. It was the Congress about drones, which is a very interesting topic for you especially. Yes, I mean, this is the first ever European Drone Summit that was organized uh, by the UAV DOC. Um, and I think uh, it was a great event uh, with a l very good uh, you know, attendee list and a wide range of topics uh, that were covered yesterday uh, about regulation, about the readiness of drone technology, and what are the challenges, uh, not only uh, this industry, but also uh, different uh, harmonization requirements uh, that have to be addressed so we can bring this technology to broader scale and adoption. Looking on the industry at the present, what has to be done? So we have been looking at it from a perspective, you know, I've been working in the industry over four years now. Um, and we started from an hardware, um, and hardware getting more automated and uh, interesting. But if you look at the commercial use cases, uh, you think about utilities or construction industry, uh, more and more the workflows and what we are trying to replace have been decades of use. Um, and the people who are in those workflows today are not familiar with technology as much. Um, and what they really care about is applying technology to get answers. Um, so automation, uh, and when we talk about automation, it's the simplicity uh, where all the technology is hidden and it's seamless to the user, but it's the technology that's going to drive the automation, but for the user, it's going to be simple, as simple as press a button and say, I want to inspect this building, um, and the automation should be able to handle the mission planning, uh, the drone should be able to fly and collect the right data at the right angles and resolution and ground sample distance. The data should seamlessly move into the cloud, be able to process, AI should apply on it, and analytics should work on it. And then the user gets back a report saying, hey, here are the damages we see on this building. It should be as simple as that. Having a look on the law situation, somebody's talking, it's a little bit confused. Um, yeah, so there's different aspects, and uh, coming from the U.S., uh, if you look at what U.S. has taken um, an approach, we had the Part 107 rule. Um, it was the best first baseline uh, for pilots. Uh, in fact, one of the requirements was uh, you have to take a written test uh, and become a certified UAS pilot. Uh, or a remote pilot uh, in the US, you actually get uh, something like a driver's license. Um, I think uh, that approach uh, on a worldwide scale um, in the EU uh, today, uh, is there a license for a drone pilot? Um, and is there a U EU standard for it? Not yet. And I think these are the kinds of steps that have to be worked towards in uh, trying to come up with a mechanism that is scalable. Concrete steps are the one thing, technology, and uh, solutions are the two keywords. But looking on the big picture, what is for you the important perspective? So if you look at the industry, you look at the opportunity, what the drone industry is, we've all seen huge amounts of economic value, uh, billions of dollars of opportunity, uh, wide ranging use cases. Uh, but if you look at the adoption and realization of that opportunity, it's been a lot slower than people have anticipated. Uh, but uh, the fact doesn't change that the opportunity exists. Why? Because drones are going to make the operationals and the workflows safer, faster, and cheaper. So that economic value is always going to be a key driver. The second thing we see is you see investment from regulatory bodies around the world. Uh, you look at the NASA with the UTM, FAA with the uh, uh, integration with the drone pilot program in the US, uh, YASA and the uh, you know, uh, European Union just put out the draft regulations. You start to see a lot of investment coming in from the regulatory bodies to actually move this forward. Um, they're investing their resources and time to accelerate that process. Uh, as well as lawmakers understand this and are also putting in frameworks to help move this forward. So, you know, you know as we think about the timelines, uh, the positive momentum is clearly there. Um, and what we at the industry have to do is make the technology seamless 
So it should be one click button um, and you get the answers. And th the good thing is that the technology exists. Uh, it's more about integration, software, AI, and analytics to be applied. I think all the problems and the workflows have been, uh, we have solutions for it. They just need to be integrated seamlessly. Um, and, and the drone systems are getting much, much smarter um, if you look at it from five years ago to where we are. Um, and so I think uh, from our standpoint and from Intel's perspective, how can we make this automation process seamless? Um, that will help deploy uh, with the various industry verticals. And then regulation will come together, uh, and we all know regulation will happen, um, and usually regulation slightly behind where technology is, but they do catch up. Um, and once we have that, you will see scale. Looking uh, shortly into the future with Intel, which are the answers you just mentioned, one of them you want to give with Intel for the industry, for the market? Um, so for us, uh, the ability to do this end-to-end -end, um, and uh, think about it is that a person doesn't need to care about what drone it is, uh, what solution it is. Um, he cares about the problems he needs to solve. And for us, the answer is through the aerial and global uh, geospatial technology that uh, the drones bring to the space uh, is what's going to solve it. Um, and uh, end of the day, the IT person in the company or the business unit person is making sure that his problems are solved and he can make this a mainstream workflow uh, for inspections. Anil Nanduri, I wish you a successful stay here at Intergeo. Nice to have you here. Yeah, the show looks like a great start and congratulations. Uh, yet, yet another successful Intergeo. Thanks a lot. Thank you.